let's do this. Come back in and keep on rolling. So yeah, so thank you guys that are here watching the live. It looks like Zach said we had a, a bunch of folks here, so I appreciate that for our finale of Chrono Cross. Been quite a playthrough. That guy is exactly where I want to go. Do you think I can? Yeah. Another rainbow stuff, which I didn't get into any rainbow stuff during the playthrough. And I'm kind of at a point where I don't know if I have the time to learn and find all the stuff on it, so. Oh well. Get up. Okay. Um, should I risk going down here and collecting an item that I may not need? I'm gonna do it anyways. Spectral Glove. I wonder what that is. Just finished my CD, as in what? As in listening to? As in <clears throat> you made a CD with your own music? What are you talking? Spectral Glove. Is it an item? Oh, it's an item for a character. Ooh, it's for uh, Grobic. Ooh. Oh, listening, okay. So this is gonna raise his attack. 67 to 93. Okay, yep, there we go. Uh, 67 to 93, so that raises his attack by five. Hit percentage by one, but still. Awesome, yeah, we're putting that spectral glove. I'm writing lyrics for my own album. Yeah? What kind of music do you do? Alright, up and out. <clears throat> so we did red, then yellow. What's going to be the next orb? Blue, green. I'm guessing they're going to be one of every element, so... Heavy metal? Really? Holy healing. Ah. That's right. These things aren't that bad. <clears throat> this is a prog metal channel? No. Why listen to all types of music? That just... Progressive rock is my favorite, but... <clears throat> that is fine. And a music metal, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 wait. I don't want to attack him with something that's going to heal him. That'd be stupid. Oh, he's gone. Just like that. <clears throat> I wonder if the, um... The orbs that we've been fighting is the correlation with those colors in some sort of order that will make the Chrono Cross work. Maybe that's what it is. Burb! Alright, man. You think that would have any correlation? Co correlation. Coalition? Cor no, coalition is not. Correlation. There we go. Alright, they're gone. <clears throat> I didn't check after the last orb if anybody gained a, a spot. I don't know. Mm, everybody's healed up. We gained some more nostrums. Uh, hold on a second. Okay. I don't think anybody's out. They're all full, okay. Alrighty then. I'm guessing I needed to go to the far right for that item. Ah, poo. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's go. Get up and back before he shows up down there? I don't think so. 
Another rainbow shell. Oh yeah, I did. Sweet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Can I pass him? Yeah. <coughs> Ooh. Could this be? That bridge looks exactly like the one in Viper Manor. Oh yeah, exactly. Could this be Viper Manor? What is going on? Yeah, this is the bridge that was in Viper Manor. You go in here and it's the <clears throat> the uh, the study or whatever. Go to some uh, go do some cleaning now, but I'll be watching you finish the game. Alright man, I appreciate it. I'll be here for Still, I don't know. Hopefully not too much longer, but, I mean, we still gotta fight all the rest of the orbs. What are all these little kids? This is, the game's all really jumpy here for some reason. These kids are all kind of creepy. The prop, okay, yeah, here we go. Welcome, it's good to see you finally made it here. I've been expecting you, Kenover. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist, but don't mind that. More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. Who are you? Oh, my name is Belzar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, king is this supposed to say kingdom? And they they mistyped it. Magical kingdom? I don't know. I was known as the Sage of Reason. That's Chrono, Marley, and Luca. Oh, is that the character? Because I think we saw those kids once before in like a flash, not a flashback, but in like a weird memory state. I think we saw. Uh, well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Let's just say things got out of control and Lavos created a dimensional vortex threw me far into the future. There I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply that knowledge I brought back from my own era, including magic, which was long lost in the future. Anyway, that led me to create a huge progress in the research of time. Well, that was that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. <clears throat> you might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. Ho oh, oh. ho. Anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. Is that in Is that what he's talking about? Is that from Chrono Chrono Trigger? Is that cuz I do remember I knew a little bit about Chrono Trigger, but is that what uh, was in Chrono Trigger, maybe? Use it to warp time to this age and learn the Chronopolis and Fate's plan and see how things were turning out. Balthazar, you jokester. <clears throat> Terra Tower is really a city of the Reptites. Uh, the Reptites from another dimension's future. Alright, so Terra Tower, that, is really a city of from the Reptites. Of the reptites from another dimension's future. Okay, wow. It was originally Dinoop Dinopolis, castle of Azala's descendants, who achieved an evolution much more intimate than our planet. All this Chrono Trigger references is that what? So this is referencing Chrono Trigger. I kind of wish we had played them in order, so I would get the references more. Um, because I've never played through Chrono Trigger. I don't even actually own Chrono Trigger. It's one that I I don't own. Um, I would like to play it. And so maybe once we play that, then I'll be able to be like, oh, that's what it is. So, um, did I miss? Uh, Dinopolis was drawn to this dimension past about 10,000 years ago. Okay. Uh, this was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos built here. Okay. I think I follow so far. <laughs> Whoa, spaceships and stuff. What the heck? Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. No, I never played through Chrono Trigger. I've played very little of it. Never actually owned my own copy of it over the years. It's one that I would like to have in my collection as being a game collector. Um, <clears throat> but I, uh, I never did, um, I never did own it, no. Or played through it fully. Uh, needless to say, Fierce Battle and Suit, yeah, okay. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as a victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. So is he telling the whole story of Chrono Trigger? Don't, don't spoil anything, but... <clears throat> but more important now is the role of the dragons play in all of this. 
You need to rectify the status of that scenario. I like that. That's a good response. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. It was because of where the dragon gods resided. But then fate sealed away the dragon gods' powers, in effect becoming a god itself. Thus, the islands were the new godhead fate. Existed, um, existed came, the new godhead fate existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Okay. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. Ah, okay. I see now. <clears throat> it was not true that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal up the dragon gods. Ah, oh, so we were being used all along. Extrapolating a couple things, not much a Trona Cruz trigger store. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so yeah, so in reality, the dragon gods are the opposite of man, while fate itself was actually the protector of humanity. So, uh, we just pretty much doomed everybody by killing fate. If we hadn't killed fate and listened to the dragons, or sided with the dragons, so essentially we were the bad guys for a little bit there. Dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form. A life accumulation of all planets' energy. Originally, it was a biological machine used to control the powers of the nature of the future society of the reptites. Uh, in order to control the natural energy itself, fate divided one dragon god entity up into six weaker plasma life forms. Then scattered them across the land. Okay, so yeah, the dragon. Dragon-like appearances were just pseudo guys. Temporary forms that take to uh, appear in this dimension. Okay. So it was all a ruse is pretty much what it is. <clears throat> but all that changed when fate was vanished and it was power power hold was eliminated so yeah at that moment the seven dragon gods pay who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten traveled across the dimension to reunite in a single entity seven dragons Grobek thought there were only six yeah what's the seventh one there were six dragons you knew of and one more hidden dragon you didn't like a second moon that was once lost but later was found although the same planet my world didn't have two moons. Look over the night sky now and you'll see seven celestial bodies, five stars with two moons, five brother stars with the corresponding to five colored dragons, ruling like gods over the night sky. Uh, you should really play it, a really good game, not that long of for being a JRPG. Really yeah, I definitely want to play it. I've just gotta wanna get my hold wanna get my hands on a copy of it, because I like to play as you guys know, some of you may know that I like to play the physical copies of of games as much as possible there's only been two times that we haven't um, so one moon corresponds with the white dragon white sky dragon and another darker daughter moon of the counterbalance of them the fire dragon water dragon green dragon earth sky black and one more the final dragon the dark moon dragon <clears throat> the one who was to work with the f to free the other dragons from their bondage by the fate computer Child, this is getting long-winded. The child, the others created on the night of the electric storm. The temporary cause fate to lose its hold. Eventually, I'd like to finish all square, squares, uh, PS1 NA. What do you mean by NA? North American PS1 releases. Okay. I believe you knew her as Harley. Oh, so that's why Harley was there. Oh, unbelievable. Dragon gods were the essence of nature of the planet. Perhaps. We can consider what's happening as our planet's vengeance on us. Finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of the blue planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet? Eat the controller. No. Um, or vice versa, but either way you look at it, now's the time to set things right. Future of mankind, the destiny of the planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. How does one say... Hmm? <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Hey, mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? It is. Are you going to tell us about the Chrono Cross then? The Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, which we have on, <clears throat> it has the power to draw on the sounds of the six sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. 
It has the power to combine the sounds of the world in one melody. Melody. I am listening carefully because he's talking about the Chrono Cross. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll meet again soon in one time period or another. Be careful now and good luck. Oh, is that all he's going to tell me about the Chrono Cross? Uh... <clears throat> so, by him saying that, the six elements, so... I'm guessing if I use all the elements on it and then use it, it harmonizes all of the elements together to create like a really powerful attack then, I'm guessing. Sounds like your meds take... Sounds like med you take for stomach sore. Can I drop that down? Oh wait, isn't there a book I need to pull? Or do I go at the door? Oh, something's up there, but how do I... There was a book or something that I need to pull. And he drops down the, the ladder. Ah, there we go. There's a switch. <clears throat> Push it. Uh, he said to submit an idea to Streamlabs about transferring in-channel currency. So, like, currency that you get from another person's channel, transferring it to a different channel. Mm, I don't know if they'll go... I don't know if they'll really go for that, because the whole purpose is for you to be loyal to one channel and use that... Found a black hole. Uh, use that currency in that person's channel because you've been watching them for so long and and whatnot, so... <clears throat> if that's what you're talking about. So was that a... Um, was that an element to other users? Oh, okay, so just to give it to other users then, okay. Uh, black hole, all foes, only if innate sucks everything into an area into a super vacuum. And it only works if my innate's black, which I can do here. Do, haven't we had black holes before or no? Have I not had any of these? I don't think that's going to help against... No, nah, we'll just leave it. <clears throat> I need to go to bed, but I'm scared to. If you got to head out, man, go ahead. I'm not going to be able to move until I get up tomorrow. If you need to go to bed, then get going to bed. So, I came in here. I thought this was going to be a... You come up here to progress the... Uh, can I break through? No. That way, so what you're saying, I'm not going to be able to move when I get up tomorrow? Why aren't you going to be able to move? Did I miss... Did I miss something? So... I'm guessing I go back out then. So yeah, they were talking about the Chrono Cross, so I'm guessing you're saying it harmonizes all of the, uh... Oh, yeah, you said something earlier about shoveling, and I missed that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so 12 inches yesterday, and I had to shovel all the... I got you, okay. You mentioned something about shoveling. I'm sorry. I do uh, remember seeing something about that. <clears throat> oh, now it changed. So now we can't go back there. Go this way. Ah, you got about eight inches there too, Zach. Whoop. Is that a clue? Okay, so <clears throat> it's a circling thing of six notes, or seven, well, six. The Chrono Cross hint. The most guide, guiding it part of any game. So yeah, my, my hint, my, uh, not my hints, but my uh, gut feelings were kind of right, I guess, so. <laughs> okay, so the melody has something to do with the colors. I wish you could listen. Oh, wait, no, they're lighting up. Hmm. 
No? Okay. I thought they were lighting up in order, but they're not. They're lighting up depending on how they're spinning. Okay, never mind. I thought they were kind of like lighting up. All right, so I hear I hear the s sounds. So I've got to figure out the order. Then we have oh, there's still greens next. So I wonder if that is the order. We fought yellow, then red, now green. So I wonder if that has to do with the order as well. And let's check my health. I haven't had a save point in a while, but I'm all right. <clears throat> I'm liking this ending. We've definitely uh, still got a ways to go here tonight. So I really... Oh, you know what? I should really hold on. I should really go plug this in so this can charge up a little bit while the other two batteries... Because if I can get a little bit more use out of that first battery that we used... We'll see here. Okay, so return our trees. Give back our green forests. And sucks us in. I'm excited. I'm excited to finally get to the end of things here a little bit. Lorax. He speaks to the trees. The Anemator. Anemator. Anemotor. Anemator. Infoscope. Ah, oh, you hear that? The thing popped up there, green, so... Yeah. I don't know what he's doing as far as info scope. I'm guessing to know more about us, but... Yo, Gabe. <clears throat> what is up? Um, and he's a green, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to use that. Vespo, what's up? Yeah, I kind of figured that was uh, that was the case. Listening to the sounds and how uh, the colors have been going, so I'll be able to kind of figure it out here as well. I'm gonna change the virtual name of my coin to virtual virtual collectible. The whole gang is here. Steel was here earlier. He uh, he went off and went to bed. But he was here earlier, so. Wow, these guys can use element after element. So green is definitely the third, because. The green is third, so I'm guessing it's in the order that we've been fighting. So red, red, green, or uh, yellow, red, green, maybe. That's, that is my. Yes, let's go ahead and use the yellow here. <clears throat> For one, because it's going to hurt him the most. Well, let's listen. That sounded like the first, though. Yellow, yeah, yellow was... F yeah, yellow was first, so yeah. So that's, that's definitely it, then. Yellow first, then red, then green. Omega green. All right, now I gotta actually watch my health too because if he hits us with something crazy. Okay. <clears throat> I like that I'm actually like figuring stuff out finally. All right, there we go. Oh, really? Oof. Four hundo. Oh wait. I can use some of my higher stuff now. But yeah, I feel like I'm actually understanding the game a little bit now, finally at the end of things. So <clears throat> instead of calling them J coins, I figured I'd call them ounces of gold. Alright. White. That's, uh, I missed what the sound for white was. I had it there for a moment. There's uh, white. I think that was white.
Wait, is wait last? Oh wait, why am I using green? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was too busy racking my brain about other stuff. I wasn't even thinking. That's all right. <clears throat> Wish I could play this game for the first time again. Well, just do what I did. Go. Well, I never played through it at all, but I went 15 years be between playing it. But yeah, what is up, Vez? How are you tonight? Thank you for stopping by for our finale for Chrono Cross. It has been a long time coming. Years and years. There we go. Years and years of not ever finishing this game. Actually, not really even seeing the last three quarters of the game, really. But the time was now to finally play through. And we've been playing through it for a while. This is like our 17th stream of the game, I think. <coughs> Call them butt coins. <coughs> nice. Kanor gained another level 8. Plus some HP. Nice. I'm guessing we step on that, but 